Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's uh, tropical update. So a new tropical storm and maybe even a potential hurricane is likely to form in the Caribbean Sea and could impact Yucatan, uh, Cuba, and or Jamaica over the next uh, three to seven days. And taking a look at our area of interest, we have a 10% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next two days and a 60% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next seven days with an overall medium chance of formation. Looking at our forecast discussion, the southwestern Caribbean Sea, a broad area of low pressure is likely to develop over the southwestern Caribbean Sea during the next day or two. Gradual development is possible thereafter, and a tropical depression could form over the weekend or early next week, while the system drifts generally northward or northwestward over the central or western Caribbean Sea. Regardless of development, locally heavy rains are possible during the next several days across portions of the area from Nicaragua, southeastward and eastward towards northern Colombia. Formation chance through 48 hours is low at 10%, and formation chance through 7 days is medium at 60%. And we also have this area of interest to the north of Hispaniola and in Puerto Rico, with a 10% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next 2 to 7 days. So taking a look at the models on our systems, starting with the 12-0 on the GFS model, we see the potential for tropical development both uh, in the Southern Caribbean and Northern Caribbean as we go into Sunday, November the 3rd, could be seeing a tropical storm, maybe one uh, in the Caribbean and one in the far Western Atla Atlantic as we go into Monday, November the 4th, bringing a lot of rain to the Caribbean areas like Hispaniola, the Turks and Caicos in Bahamas, could be seeing a potential weak hurricane uh, making a landfall somewhere in Haiti or the Dominican Republic as we go into Monday, November the 4th, and maybe another weak tropical storm moving through the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas, also November the 4th. This will cr uh, create a lot of flooding across uh, the area, so make sure you're on guard for a lot of flooding rainfall, especially in areas like Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, Turks and Caicos, and Bahamas. Could even be seeing a weakening tropical storm move through the Florida Keys as we go into Tuesday, November the 5th, and then as we go after that, could be seeing a tropical storm spin up off the southeast coast in about um, uh, seven to eight days as well. So we're going to have to watch the trends on these systems very uh, closely. Taking a look at the 12Z uh, run of the European model, 12Z run of the European model shows a lot of moisture as well in the Caribbean, but not, about, not really a lot of development anytime soon could see a tropical depression or storm spin up around uh, Thursday, November the 7th between Cuba and the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, maybe moving to the Gulf of Mexico as we go into uh, Friday, November the 8th and Saturday, November the 9th. But this is about 8 to 10 days away in the European model solution if anything were to develop. And taking a look at the Canadian, this is going to be the most bullish solution. The Canadian shows a tropical storm forming on November the 4th, uh, south of Jamaica and Cuba. Rapid intensification to a hurricane as we go into a Wednesday, November the 6th, moving uh, between Cuba and uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, potentially seeing a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico if the Canadian solution were to verify as we go into Thursday, November the 7th, Friday, November the 8th, and in about 10 days could be seeing yet another hurricane impacting the Florida panhandle, but this is 10 days away, so we're going to have to watch the trends closely on all these models. Thanks for watching this evening's update on our tropical Atlantic basin. Uh, happy Halloween. Have a wonderful evening, my friends.